In this presentation, we're going to look at the coefficient of determination. So the coefficient of determination is a measure of how much the variance in the observed value for some variable can be explained by its relationship to another variable. If we're talking about a simple linear regression or something like that, we will consider this to be the y variable and consider this to be the x variable. So in other words, it is the percentage of variation explained by the linear regression equation. So if we're constructing a linear regression equation, for example, something that would look something like this, I'm just gonna make one up. Let's see, 11 plus seven X or something like that. That it would be the, uh, how they would be sort of measure of how good this um, equation is in predicting values. So, Let's move on. The coefficient of determination is also called r squared or r, r squared or r squared, and it's simply computed by squaring the correlation coefficient r. If just just to avoid any doubt, when I mean the Pearson correlation, I mean the correlation coefficient. I mean the Pearson correlation coefficient. In some courses, you would be dealing with other types of correlation coefficient. Uh, strictly speaking, this is not the actual definition of r squared, though. So just to be mindful of that. They are, you could, that's how you would compute it, but it's not actually the definition of it. It's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, the coefficient can take any value from zero to one, okay? And the closer it is to one, the better the explanatory power. So let's wrap it up with a quick example here. So we have two variables, x1 and x2. The correlation there is now 0.9. So to find out the coefficient of determination, r squared, Simply what we do is find uh, 0.9 squared, and that uh, computes to be 0.81. Again, 0.9 to the power of two. 0.7, that turns out to be 0.49, okay? And that's 0.7 squared. So um, that is the uh, ends our presentation. The higher the value, the better it is for, the better the predictive power of the regression. Anyway, that's it. Bye-bye.